Welcome to Front 9 coverage of the 2020 Feather Friends Demic. We're going to be following the FPO lead card for the second and final round. I'm Miss Glista, joined here by competitor Allison Pern. Hi guys! We've also got Valerie Mandujano, Alexis Mandujano, sisters from Texas, and Sarah Gilpin rounding out the lead card here. Alright, this is hole 1 or hole 13 at the canyons in Delwood Park. This is, hole is 270 feet. Uh, it's easy to overthrow and you're facing a uh, steep drop off behind the basket and you can definitely find yourself in some risky spots here. So Allison's going for that hyzer route on the right off the tee. Catches a little branch, but not a bad spot to land. Sarah, on the other hand, taking that left side route, gets it a little turned over, but she'll scramble from there. Valerie smashes this mid-range down the right side, but it doesn't quite fade as much as she wants it to. And Alexis just pures this gap down the middle. Really gonna like that result. Beautiful shot. And as Allison mentioned, there's a big drop off just behind the basket here. So from Sarah's position, you gotta be smart and throw a good layup shot like that. And I'm trying to do the same, just watching out for that ground play in the slope. And that's how you do it, skip it right up. Valerie got a little past the basket. And a great putt to float it up for an easy birdie, or uh, easy par rather. Alexis taking a ridiculously easy birdie on this hole, as tough as it is. Beautiful drive. Uh, Valerie taps in for par. Sarah taking a second on this putt because it can be risky, just wants to make sure she gets that par. And makes it count. Tapped in for my par and we're on to the next hole. All right, hole two or hole 14 at the canyons, 210 feet. Uh, this is a short mid-range putter shot straight up the gap. You can find OB if you get a nasty tree kick into the path, but we are all definitely looking to capitalize on this hole. And Alexis starts it nicely, but it's a little too hyzered. Doesn't quite get up to the basket there. Allison not being arrested. That cop was just <laughs> lingering <laughs> at the edge of the tee pad. Along with a lot of construction people. Yeah. Uh, doesn't quite get the turnover. Fades out a little bit. For some reason, it was real easy to fade out early. There might have been a little crosswind or something. Valerie Mandujano just piping this shot. Skips up, hits the pole, and it doesn't get much better than that. Just parked. Alexis lays it up, finds herself a little bit up behind that tree. Allison lines up a long one. Money. Felt good on the second hole. That gave me some confidence in my in my other putts for sure. Yeah, nice to sink one of those early in the round. Really get your confidence going. Sarah also lining up a pretty long one here. Watch the hang time. <laughs> and that one's good too. This is a card full of snipers, let me tell you. <sighs> Unfortunate. Miss on the left side for Alexis. Tricky little downhill tailwind putt. Yeah, the wind was blowing. You can see the flags, the construction flags in the background. It was making for some tough putting on this hole. Yeah, and Valerie with that easy two after a beautiful drive. All right, moving on to hole three, hole 15. Uh, this hole is downhill, plays 260 feet, but it e is easy to throw past it. You can either take the straight up the middle shot with a putter or a mid range. Uh, you do face uh, OB left if you hyzer out too quickly and OB long if you overshoot. And you can also take the right hand gap, which I'm about to take, and just take something stable, let it, uh, let it work and just skip up to the basket. And I apologize for how poorly I filmed this hole, but give me a break. This was my first time really trying to do coverage. Uh, lesson learned, filming from the side of the tee is probably the worst choice you can make. But uh, Allison went up that right side, got a nice little finish relatively close. Sarah went up the middle, got a little turned over. Valerie's going up the middle here, nice floater. That's how you play this hole. Beautiful shot. Yep, circle's edge. 
Alexis goes up the middle, but it's a little low, burns out early. Uh, she's a very fast player, so I missed the upshot there, but she uh, whipped it right up into the circle. Oh, Sarah gives it a great effort, but fades out a hair early. Valerie here for two. Beautiful putt. Yep. Right Perfect. in there. They, uh, she is a wonderful putter, Snipin. Allison lines up her birdie look. Ah, oh, it hits just a little high on the mock X. Gets spit out. Yeah, I felt like I hit so many chains on that one. <laughs> that was a shame. Sarah's and Sarah in. in for her par. All right, hole four, which is hole 16. Um, it's 335 feet. You are throwing off like a cliff's edge and you have two trees right in the front of the tee pad that can come into play, but we are playing to the B pin today. So you either wanna take a forehand off the tee onto the left side or a straight shot down the middle. And here we have Casey Glade, uh, Delwood Disc Golf team member showing us how it's done. We've got Valerie Mondujano first off the tee here. She's gonna throw a forehand through that tree gap. Punches it out nicely and settles pin high, but quite a ways left of the basket with a big tree to contend with. Allison went for the flex shot here, but <laughs> I missed the uh, initial Anheuser until I heard it knock off the canyon wall behind me. I parked and, the uh, other pin. Yeah, that's not the right basket. No. Not today, but. Sarah throws a forehand through the trees. Nice little safe one. She's not trying to bite off too much here. Safe shot, easy par. And Alexis crushed this forehand. The sound of that impact actually made me jump. And she's gonna have a nice little look there. A little obstructed by the trees. Uh, pioneer, skip. <laughs> here I am consulting my thousand rated caddy. <laughs> at double duty, filming and caddying. Now notice, I wanted the skip shot, but you just <laughs> put this thing right up to the pole and it did a little dance, not necessarily in your favor, but that'll work. Sarah lining up an outside look, but she is really good at these. Oh, and just barely shy, hits the cage, but she's gotta tap in. Valerie, from a knee, straddling out around this tree just kind of lobs it up to leave herself a safe par, smart play. And I love the way that Alexis really took her time from this spot. Straddles left, nah, doesn't love it. Try straddling right, no, maybe that's worse. Let's go back to left. Not in a rush, takes her time. Lines it up, gets a little practice stroke in there and No problem. Yeah, we were all hoping to uh, connect on the birdie here, so it was nice that at least one of us was able to find it. Valerie and Allison saving their pars, Sarah with a tap in, and Alexis with a nice birdie on that hole. All right, in hole five, hole 17 at the Canyons. It's one of the longer holes on the course. It's uh, 468 feet and it's playing as a par four. Um, you can find OB right if you really hold on to your backhand right hand shot. Um, yeah, pretty. there's not too much trouble, just a straight shot, but you want a long distance drive off the tee and then a nice mid range up there. Yup, this runs really just about making two good shots connected after each other and then Hopefully leaving yourself a little in the circle putt. No pressure. Alexis and Valerie both up the center of the fairway. Allison gets a little aggressive with this high Annie shot, but it pans out and nice power drive there. Thank you. Sarah was just about to throw when my camera overheated, so I missed that one, but she put it way up there in the fairway, just on the right side. Also missed Alexis's upshot. She's gonna be pin high on the left. Valerie here looking at her upshot. Slaps a bug, no hesitation. And like second nature, beautiful upshot. 
Sarah's taking a forehand approach here, playing the angle around this tree. Hooks up a little bit much. Skips over there, but she's still going to have an outside look. Allison from the fairway gets a little over on this, but that's going to slide along the ground and she'll have a good look from there too. This is where Alexis's upshot landed, her forehand upshot, about pin high, kind of obstructed, just outside the circle. And yeah, connects again. Really just a beautiful putt. I was so impressed at how accurate of a putting card this was. Every single player just draining them from outside. And Sarah's no exception here. Valerie gets that nice birdie. So that's three players with threes. And Allison rounds it out for a star frame, everyone carding a birdie three. All right. In hole six, her hole 18 at the canyons is a pretty tricky shot. Uh, we're playing to the A pin, which you kind of just want to like hyzer flip something underneath the bridge. There is an OB creek underneath the bridge and a ton of trees to contend with. It's definitely a tricky shot. Yeah, a lot of obstacles. You really got to thread the needle here. And Alexis gives it a nice little hyzer, but too flippy. Doesn't recover there. Valerie gets it off nice and flat, and it does fade and skips right up to that rock. She'll be just outside the circle from that putt. Allison, much like Alexis's drive, gets over to the right the way you want it to, but doesn't quite make it back. Oh, and Sarah's drive slips out a little early, but she gives it enough to still get it across. And Allison showing off the nice, uh, why we call this course the canyons. <laughs> Terrible place to be for an upshot, though. <laughs> yeah, I definitely the... smacked my hand and uh, was definitely afraid of hitting my hand against that wall <laughs> on that shot. Alexis with a good layup there. Yeah, you gotta take what you can get sometimes and leave yourself a longer approach than I'm sure you wanted. Yeah, it was a shame to take a bogey on this hole, but at this point I just had to lay it up and... Yeah. Sarah lines up a long outside putt. She wants revenge. Ah, oh, and it's the same spot on the cage. Valerie here for two, just outside that rock. Oh, and she scoops a little bit. Doesn't quite get it there. Still collects a par. And it's gonna be pars all around except for Allison's bogey there. And now we're on to hole seven or hole one at the canyons. Um, it's a pretty straightforward shot, 242 feet. Uh, as FPO women, we are all definitely looking to birdie this hole. It's become a very scenic hole with the nice steps that Link Disc Golf installed for us. Check it out. And Alexis starts this a little down the right side. Does manage to creep up and give her a look for that uphill putt. Valerie's been throwing this blue driver like her bread and butter. Gets a nice fade out of it, and look at the action climbing up that hill. Just at the outside edge of the circle there. Sarah gets this one working right towards the basket, but a little bit of an early fade. Skips up the steps to a nice look. And Allison has historically played this hole very well. And today would be no exception. Works it back. Nice fade. Great uphill birdie putt from Alexis. Valerie says, hey sis, can I have that uh, lucky mini you just used? 
tough to get a comfortable footing on this hole. It's very sloped, as you can see. She's going to take her time, really line this one up. Don't want to squander this opportunity. And she cashes in. Sarah right up on the basket level step. Straddles out, taking her time. Great birdie. And Allison with the CTP here, but nothing is safe on this hole until it is settled in the bottom of the cage. Great birdie, and we got our second star frame. Every lady collecting a birdie two on that hole. Now we are on to hole eight or hole two of the canyons. We're playing to the B position today. Uh, kind of keeps you away from the out of bounds water on the left side, but uh, it is definitely a, a, a difficult shot. It's playing a little bit farther and it uh, has a low ceiling. Got Casey Glade here from the first round showing us just how to play this hole. She's got plenty of power, rips a little hyzer flip here. Great height to just control it all the way down to the basket. Beautiful. About 300 foot shot and you're gonna need at least that much power to give yourself a good look. Alexis gives this one a good rip, but it's turning a little bit. She's gonna be up there almost pin high off to the right. Valerie with that same go-to driver. Beautiful hyzer flip. Carries it forward, nice skip, and she's gonna like that look. When you watch this, Valerie, comment on what disc that is, yeah, please. please. I'd like to know. I would guess, I, I know Alexis likes a Thunderbird. I'm not sure if Valerie's also throwing a Thunderbird there, if it's a, an older Innova Champ driver. Sarah with a great drive gets pin high, but just gets a little skip fade. I think she threw a faster driver there, maybe her Sheriff. Allison gets this one a little turned over, and it dives a little bit but that should be an easy up and down from there. Alexis from the outside, nice little pitch up. She gave that a good run, it almost yeah. went in. Allison with a smart layup. Sarah from, I'd say about 40 feet here. Oh, and that same spot just below the chains on the cage. Valerie lining up a good two look. Swish. Solo birdie on this hole. Very impressive. That's how you take charge. Already two strokes in the lead and that's going to be another cushion on the field. <laughs> the rest tap in for their pars. All right. Hole nine, uh, or hole three at the canyons, is 362 feet. This hole usually plays as a par four, but uh, we're testing us ladies out here. We're playing as a par three. It is high uphill, and uh, here you can see Meg sinking a nice putt. Um, you can either take the right-hand side and throw a hyzer, or take the left gap and contend with the trees and the out-of-bounds um, pathway. As you can see, Valerie takes that left gap and just smashes her drive up there. That's exactly how you set yourself up for the three. Alexis trying the same, oh, but catches that tree and kicks OB pretty early. Not the result you're looking for here, but sometimes it happens. Sarah staying clear, throwing a nice hyzer flip and gets plenty of ride up that hill. Allison's going to try the right side. I just like to stay far away from the out of yeah. bounce, uh, that out-of-bounce path. Catches a little branch, but sacrificing distance is not a big deal. This poor little guy on a scooter had a huge wipeout right at the corner where Alexis went OB, so as you can see, the... Well, as you can hear, rather, the uh, dad was trying to calm his kid down while Alexis was throwing this up shot. Kudos to her for keeping the mask on, too, while the family was closed. Very considerate. 
and being able to throw through that much noise and distraction. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, yeah. Poor guy. He had the speed wobbles pretty bad. <laughs> Allison weaves it through with a nice upshot. Sarah here with a flex forehand putter. Very touchy control shot, but a smart play and it pays off. Valerie here is going to float this Nova up. That drive was a smash. She yeah. was so close. The camera doesn't even show how close she was to that basket. It was a beautiful drive. Alexis pitches up, doing what she can to recover. Sarah here for the three. Well played. Her and I both took our times on time on our putts uh, here. The wind does kind of get to you, and you really want that par three when you're that close. Yep. And that's three nice threes. Alexis saving that five. Unfortunate, but you know what? She scrambled and did what she had to do to recover there. As you can see after the front nine, our leader, Valerie, with a 12 under par. Sarah chasing her closely with nine down. Alexis at neg seven and Allison rounding out the pack at two under. Huge thank you to our sponsors, Blue Island Beer Co., Dynamic Discs, Link Disc Golf, Sheila Callahan, Ryan Gramillion, Delwood Disc Golf, Barrett White, Tiffany Shaw, RPM Discs, Festi Bands, The Disc Golf Photographer, and Flight Towel. Another big thank you to our Feather Friends Demic staff, Amy Leskowski, Casey Glade, Sean Callahan, and all the volunteers and spotters, thank you. And thank you for watching this Frontline coverage of the 2020 Feather Friends Demic. 